hey what's going on guys welcome back to this youtube channel and for today's video we're going to uh, tackle about the environment setup and laravel installation so this is the second part of our laravel tutorial series so first thing first we need uh, this tools so we're going to install WAMP server for our server so this will provide us with the PHP, the Apache server, and the MySQL uh, installation. Another tool that we're going to need is the Composer. So accordingly, it is a dependency manager for PHP. So if you don't have already the Composer in your installation or in your environment, in your local machine, so you can go ahead and install the Composer to your local environment or local machine so I'm gonna be putting the uh, link in the description so that you'll be able to follow along or you will be able to install the composer and as well as the WAMP server so again if you're using another or other platforms such as Mac uh, Linux environment so you can still use uh, other version of the WAMP server I think they have the LAMP and the MAMP so you can use that as well so for this tutorial we're going to use WAMP server the composer right and we also have the git so you can download this as well and install in your local machine so we're going to use these tools later on and also uh, if you want you can also download and install the Atom uh, code editor, but any, edu uh, any editor will do. But for this particular tutorial series, we're going to use the Atom.io uh, or Atom editor code editor. So it is available for uh, Windows. So you can go ahead and install this also. So once you have downloaded and installed this uh, software or tools, you're ready to install and set up your environment and also uh, install the Laravel for your projects. All right, our next step is to create our Laravel project. And in order for us to do that, we need bash or git. But actually, we can use the, the Windows PowerShell for that for as long as the uh, composer is integrated to that particular command line or command prompt or the windows powershell so uh, let's open up our windows powershell there you go and i'm just going to change the font here so that you can see what i am typing here so instead of 12 let's make it like 24 okay i think that's better and currently we're here at this directory uh, users and then admin so we want to change this directory and go to our local host uh, directory so cd that that and another one so if we try to check our directory we have here the WAM 64 so, so make sure you have installed already your WAMP server. So I have here the WAMP and also the directory for our server, which is tri the triple W. So now let's create our project here by typing the uh, command composer and then create. project and then the keyword laravel slash laravel and um, the name of our application or the name of our uh, directory so, so for example if you have a project learning management system so you might want to name your project as lms like that or in our case because this is for programming knowledge so this is uh, programming knowledge project something like that 
and then uh, enter press enter and then we will just wait for a few seconds or minutes and allow the insulation to finish so I'm just going to, to pause the video and there we have it after few minutes or few seconds we already have uh, created our Laravel project and then we try to check this project in our code editor which is the atom but you, uh, like I've said you can use other code editor that you prefer so some of you I think prefer is sublime uh, and me personally I prefer the uh, atom code editor so let's go ahead and try to check this project in our code editor so here we are at our code editor and let's try to open up the project our very own uh, laravel project so let's go to file and open uh, folder and let's try to find the pk project or programming project and then select folder so this is how the project looks like in our uh, file system and if you try to check uh, if we try to open up this in our browser so let's check this and let's just close this and let's try to go to localhost and then um, ek project so as you can see we can see the uh, structure of the directory of our project which is uh, the pk project that we have created by using the composer so this is a security issue because we can see the how the project is structured but uh, we don't want that we want to see the home page of our application so if you try to uh, type in public localhost uh, pk project slash public so this is the page that we want to see this is the home page of our currently created project uh, Laravel in order for us to configure this project properly we need to add a virtual host and if we try later on if you try to browse to our project we shouldn't see this file structure right here so this is some something like or is somewhat ugly for us to see the file structure here so let's go to localhost by typing in localhost and then here we can see the configuration of our WAMP server there you can see and under tools we have here an option to add a virtual host there you go and we just need to add a name of our virtual host so, so for example project pk project that location or that loc and then probably you need to type in as well the complete absolute path of our virtual host folder so it just literally means that we need to provide the complete path of our project folder so 64 and triple w slash the uh, name of our project which is the uh, pk project programming knowledge project and slash public folder so it means that whenever we have or whenever we browse our project by typing in pk project loc it should redirect us to the public folder where in which we can see the home page of our application so there's an option here at uh, at the bottom to add a port or listen port but this option or this field is optional for now so let's try to start and create the virtual host here so the files have been uh, modified and virtual host pk project that loc was created so we need to refresh our or we need to restart our 
server or WAM server or the Apache itself. So you can go ahead and try to restart here, restart all services so that the uh, virtual host that we have created will be added to the uh, server or the WAM server. So after a few seconds, we can go to the browser and try to browse our virtual host, which is pkproject.loc. There you go. And where is it? pkproject, pkproject. So there's an option here that did you mean to go to pkproject.loc? Yes, of course. And there you go. You can see our project, uh, pkproject.loc and redirected to the homepage of our project. And this is what we see. So instead of this ugly uh, file structure of our project. So we can see here the uh, server of our project. And in the next video, we're going to uh, talk about the basic routing and controllers. So if you want to learn about this Laravel uh, series, try to check the next video, which is the basic routing and controllers. Thanks.